Howdy everybody, this is Steve, KM9G, and today I'm going to show you how to build the 49 to 1 transformer that goes onto the Cartena Artemis. This is an N-fed half-wave antenna that comes baked into a wire winder, so it's fantastic for portable use. It covers 40, 20, 15, and 10. You can take some more wire if you have some laying around and put it on even lower bands if you like. There is a link in the description down below for the Toads Discord, which is how you get a hold of us to get one of these. And be sure to check us out on Saturday and Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Central for our Coffee and Ham Radio Show. Let's get over to the workbench and get this thing built. What we've got in the kit for this part of the instructions is a T14043 toroid and about 40 inches of 16 gauge magnet wire. And this is the way you'll get it all wrapped up in the kit. And the first thing you're going to want to need to do, you're going to want to need, because that's how this stuff works, you want to need things, is you want to get this unwound so that we can work with it. Don't worry too much about how straight it is or how bent up it is or anything like that because we're gonna wind it around the core here. Now that we've got this thing completely unwound and relatively straight, we need eight inches. My desk mat is marked in half inch squares, so that is eight inches for me to reference. Take the first eight inches and fold it over and then start twisting it up. And you don't need to be perfect about your twists. You just need to have some twists. And there is plenty of magnet wire here to get the job done. You've got a piece of sharp wire and a stray end that's flying around. So it might be advisable for you to wear your personal protective gear. And we're going to leave a little bit long here. This is going to go to the center pin of the BNC. This is going to wrap around the toroid to go out to your antenna and connect on the far end here. And then this part is going to become your ground connection to your BNC connector as well as your counterpoise connector. What we want to do is put that inside of the toroid like so, so that these windings are all the way down and that's how we're going to do our first turn through the toroid. So this wire is a little stiff and it gets easier the closer you get to being finished. These first two turns that are wound up are probably going to be the hardest ones for you to do. And then it's just going to continuously get easier as you go. You want to try and be tight on the core. Whatever it takes for you to get that job done is whatever it takes. I'm not going to be judgmental about it. Okay, and that is the hardest part done. We've got our two turns of our primary through the core already. Every time it passes through the center of the core is considered a turn. And then this, like I said, goes to the center pin of your BNC. This will travel around to your antenna and this will travel down to your ground lug. So let's get this part here wound up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take seven passes through the core. So this is pass number three, if I can grab it, pass number three going through. And you can already tell how much easier this is than dealing with those double wrapped primaries. All right, so there's three turns. Four turns. Five turns. Six. 
six turns. Seven. And this is where it gets to be interesting. We're gonna do what we call a crossover. We're gonna put turn eight in to the toroid. And instead of coming out on the same side, we're gonna come out on the opposite side. Still considered a wrap, but instead of going in and back around the same side, it crosses over just like that. So that's turn eight. This is turn nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. And lastly is turn 14. And if we take a look at our frame here, the way this is gonna work is we're gonna put the toroid in the center. We're gonna use these two holes here for some zip ties. They're gonna go through the center also, holding the core in place. This is going to go to the ground lug of the BNC connector, which would be positioned there. And then it's going to go down here to the counterpoise connector, which will be positioned there. And then this will go to the center pin of the BNC connector. And this will go to the landing spot for the antenna over there. Pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the description down below. Otherwise, thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.